Hello model car builders, welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies Model Car Garage Model Car Show. So, today we're looking at another one of our Rainbow Series 1939-1940 Ford kits. This one, of course, is built from a kit very similar to the one that I reviewed on my review a long time ago. The 1939-1940 Ford Tudor. And I know Round 2 has released a new version of this, but mine was from the original Aristocrat style one back in 1986, which I can show you the box right now. So that's the one that I built a long time ago. This is the one I have currently that I did the review on. And now I want to quickly show you one that I built. This was the first one that I built actually before I thought up the Rainbow Series idea, but actually because this is red, I figured it should just fit in there anyway. And you can see a bit of customizing and other crazy things on here. This one was a brush paint. Yeah, very long time ago. I mean, I built this when I was about eight or 10 years old, somewhere in that ballpark. So <clears throat> what I want to do is I brought this out, dusted it off, cleaned it up, because I want to show the youth out there that you don't actually have to build the 100% absolutely perfect on your first go model kit that you actually do have some leeway to learn and to benchmark and to improve your skills. So without further ado, let's go down to my bench and I will show you how I built this when maybe I was about your age. Ironically, the last of our Rainbow series is actually the first one that I made before I even figured it should be a Rainbow series and all the rest of that stuff. This one, of course, I built when I was about eight. And there are some interesting fit issues here with the kit. There's some big gaps right where the fenders hit at the back of the body. This again is brush painted using the 40 Ford Chevrons. A little bit of a custom job as it does have the fender skirts on here. Uh, the wheels are painted flat black. Again, the interior is just the brown plastic it was molded in. There are some spots that are missing here, uh, paint-wise. The hood has been shaved of all its trim, and the seam lines removed from the fenders. 39 Ford lights again. Uh, let's see, what else? Oh, so when I painted this, I was using a brush. And just sort of a lesson for you earlier, or younger builders, is uh, to watch where your fingerprints are and make sure your hands are always clean. Another thing is watch where your glue is when you're gluing the roof tops in because I must have had some around here and when I pushed the glass in it did this big glue blob streak up there which is never really good for your window glass. Uh, what else can I tell you guys? Always make sure you paint everywhere because even here you can see some little brown streaks. Maybe not from this angle, but they're there. Again, Tester's Enamel Paints gives you that high glossy shine, which is interesting. This is some 30, 40 years later. Built about 86, I believe. I can't remember. But something like that. Again, watching where your paint is. And make sure you try to cover everywhere when you're painting. With a brush, I would recommend doing two or three coats instead of just the one that I did here. But again, part of that nice old series from the past. Here we have the hood of our 1940 with the 39 headlamps, sort of custom Ford sedan. And as you can see, I actually did paint the windshield frame silver. This again being the first one that I built in this series before I even considered rainbow stuff. Um, shaved the hood off and of all its chrome, just like a real custom. And if we lift up the engine, or the hood, you can see the engine here. Got our flat black firewall. Painted the engine block silver, it looks like. Uh, white spark plugs, a little bit of blue paint got all over it for whatever reason. And then we've got our air cleaner, uh, chrome generator, Flat black radiator, didn't do the um, brass like on the early ones. So that's basically it. This was my starting point. I can see a bit of brown paint going underneath. 
and uh, all kinds of little windows like my dad said I should cover up back in the day but again I do believe I built this when I was eight so it was quite a early attempt at uh, trying to start my model career now here we have the undercarriage of our 40 Ford and as you can see I uh, painted the top of the frame rails gloss gray and the radius rods here gray the rear axle was painted flat black now this was all done with a brush and if I just turn this a bit as my dad would say you could see all the windows so there's tan plastic there and the uh, wheels I don't know if you can see that too well but they're tan in behind and all kinds of things but you know this is my early early attempts at model cars and I'm showing this uh, basically I'm showing this model here for our younger viewers who are just starting out model painting uh, now these kits when I built them they were for fun and I was having fun building it and I was learning how to use my paintbrush at the time and get it into all the spots and uh, you know trying to glue the um, the kit together because this was all a new experience for me and if you're a young young kid starting off and whatnot and you're not familiar with all the techniques that uh, we're showing you on the model car garage here you will uh, build a model quite similar to this actually <laughs> now I didn't scrape in much of the seam lines I can see them from here you know and like I said I didn't have quite the control of the brush but you know I, I was having fun and I wanted to get this done and that's basically what I did had fun got it done and learned how to glue and all kinds of techniques that were totally new to me so again don't be afraid to try stuff if it doesn't look a hundred percent perfect like on the box don't worry about it just have fun and do this just as it is doesn't matter and then in the next one you'll learn oh now i can get better control of the brush and i can do better things so you want to use this as a benchmark a learning curve this is model number one for example uh, as i progressed I just switch this with the blue one you can see I I don't have any of those paint windows underneath there you know I started to improve and then I was trying a new technique which was trying to paint these little square boxes on the uh, mufflers which didn't quite work out so well but then as time pro progressed and I moved along I started to get to this stage where there's no seam lines and everything under there looks like the real car and it's painted correctly and I did my research on what the car looks like from underneath and all that sort of stuff but again I had to learn through these different phases and different points in my life which all basically started from these original kits I did when I was young and I did these because I wanted to show my grandma you know these model cars because it was a big adventure to go over to her house and visit with her and all that and this was part of that you know adventure and bonding experience with my grandma at the time so again don't be afraid to just build a model have fun with it and do your best just like they say in scouts do your best and that was my best when i was eight Well, I hope you enjoyed that look at my 1940 Ford two-door model kit. This, of course, being one of the first models that I built way, way back. And I just want to say, if you're a young builder starting off, this consider this as an experimental type of model kit. I was learning new things like how to shave off a hood, get rid of the chrome trim, add fender skirts, kind of lower it a little bit, make it look sort of custom and cool. I made a lot of mistakes as a kid. You know, I missed spots in the paint underneath and all kinds of things. Uh, so what I'm saying is, 
don't be afraid that you're not going to make it 100% absolutely perfect like on the box because whoever built the model on the box was somebody that had, at my age with the years and years of experience, and you're just starting off. So go out there, try stuff, experiment. Don't worry if it's 100% perfect, you know. Make it fun, make it for you, and learn. Learn as you go. So like, next time when I was a kid, next time I was going to learn to make sure I painted everything underneath and didn't miss any spots where you could see bare plastic. You know, go step by step, and as you progress, eventually you will end up like pros like us old guys now. <laughs> so anyway, keep all that in mind. Keep building, keep trying. If you fail a little bit, just remember how to learn from it for next time. And until next time, everybody, happy model building. Well, I think that brings another great video to a close. It was real fun making it, and I hope you all learned something from it. If you have any questions, don't forget to leave those down in the descriptions below. And if you enjoyed watching these videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Pound the notification button down below so that every time I make a new video, you are the first ones to see it. If you'd like to shop with us at Monster Hobbies, don't forget to check out our web address, www.monster-hobbies.ca. Again, I'll leave it in the description below. If you want to support us on Patreon, because, well, YouTube is... it We are monetized. YouTube does pay us, but it's sort of up and down based on views. If you'd like to support us with something a little more steady, visit our Patreon account like these great people here have done. Thank you all for your support over on Patreon. It's uh, pretty easy. I'll leave the link for that in the description below as well. Again, if you want to share some great stuff with us, do it on our Facebook page. And until next time, everybody, happy model building.